Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to review two no pull harnesses. First one, the PetSafe Easy Walk Harness and the Two Hound Design Freedom Harness. We're going to give you the pros and cons of both harnesses and give you the information to help you decide which harness might be the best harness for your dog. So we know that a regular harness causes a dog to pull, but at least it doesn't put pressure on their throat like a collar does. Here's a picture of two dogs in regular harnesses. You can see the way it, the harness is attached to the leash at the back. So when this dog pulls in the video, the owner has no choice but to go right along with them. So this type of harness teaches your dog to pull. It's like a sled dog team. When you put them behind the sled, their harness encourages them to pull. What's the difference between a no pull harness and a regular harness? The regular harness, the dog pulls forward and your dog is learning to pull harder. So what makes it different with a no pull harness? No pull harnesses are designed to help your dog to learn not to pull. Please don't forget, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll get all the new episodes. First harness we're going to talk about is the PetSafe Easy Walk harness. And you can see it has different colored straps. One strap that is a different color from the other two. The one that is the different color is the belly strap. Both the chest strap and the shoulder strap are pink. And the belly strap is gray. In that way, it is to help people to know how to put the harness on. Now the company has even gone so far as to write the word shoulder, belly, and chest on the straps to help people to understand how to put the harness on correctly. This is a small medium. This is a small. Quite a big difference between these two in the width of the material and the size of the harness. Now, Nikki is going to help me demonstrate putting on the Easy Walk harness. We have three straps. That's for you. Proper way to fit this is to take the belly strap and open it up, slip on the shoulder strap, and feed your dog. You always want to feed them for something like this because it's a little scary. Now, in order to fit this, good girl, wait, good girl, you want to pull up on this so that the rings fit right at the point of the shoulder. And this distance here is what I have to make smaller. Front one is adjusted next so that it is snug. Now this one won't adjust anymore. I've got this set correctly. That one of the drawbacks to this harness, a couple of them, how loose this is. And I can't, I could make this a little tighter but then it pulls up here further and it's in to her armpits. So with this harness, the drawbacks come that this harness, which is a nice wide harness, will not fit her because it hangs down. And you'll see in the picture of the one, the black and white dog moving and you see how the harness is hanging down and also the other picture, so that this is an improper fit on this harness. If it's hanging down, it will restrict the movement, which is one of the biggest drawbacks to this harness, is that it restricts the shoulder movement. This is a harness that I used to use for years when I had my daycare and my uh, training center and I would see them lined up with easy walk harnesses for all my daycare dogs. But I found that people let them drag too low. They would hook their leash on and the leash would go down. This front part would become loose and all of a sudden it would be all the way down to the floor and I would adjust it. So what do I do? 
So the harness that I would like to use, the wider one, I can't use because the chest piece is too big and I can't make it any smaller. So I have to use a harness that is small, narrow, and just barely fits her to be able to get it on, I can tighten this one and make it a proper fit and make it tight. So I don't like a real narrow harness like this because for one, I don't think it gives you enough control. And two, it's gonna cut in to her shoulders more. So that is the proper fit on this. It stays up where it's supposed to be so there's also another drawback to this harness, and it actually has nothing to do with the company, but there's a reason why they actually labeled the different parts, the, the chest, the belly, and the shoulder pieces, because people put it on upside down. Even though they color code it, a lot of people, once they take it apart, they say, well, why don't I just put it on so there's no loop in front. Then they put the ring on top. Now that's not the way this harness is designed. This harness is designed with the ring in front. So because people wear it backwards, it doesn't give the effectiveness that it needs. Remember to press the like and share this video so your doggy friends will have information on no pull harnesses. I'm still looking for the perfect no pull harness. And I used to use the Easy Walk harness for years at my daycare center, in my training center, and I'd see them lined up with all their Easy Walk harnesses. But I found there were so many drawbacks of the Easy Walk harness. I started to look for something different. I found the Two Hound Design Freedom Harness. This is a small, this has two points of attachment. This triangular piece does go at the back of the dog and the ring across the chest. This has a softer material that goes underneath the belly. It also has adjustments for the chest, for the undercarriage, for the belly. So let's see what Nikki thinks of the Freedom Harness. This goes over the head and the ring is at the shoulders. This one goes between the front legs, attaches on both sides. This one also has a strap to adjust underneath and here. Your leash attaches in two places, one at the front and they also have a double-ended leash that comes with this and one at the shoulder. So you have control of your dog to move them. So this is the harness that I started using with my training classes. And many people like this harness, work well with this harness, but I also found, here's the drawback to this, people don't like to use a double-ended leash. So what they would do is, they would just use both of them hooked to one side. You've got the leash on your dog. And this, this is designed to work this way so it's not all bad. Because if your dog pulls forward, you pull up and that stops your dog and then you release. And you keep doing that until your dog learns that when they pull forward, you pull up and release and they stop pulling. So that's not all bad. The way sometimes people would come into class with both of them hooked in the front. You can stop your dog from pulling with this way by pulling to the side. So you can do that. So this harness can be used either with one clip, two clips. So if I was happy with this harness, why did I decide not to continue using it? Well, I'll tell you especially on smaller dogs, what happens is this strap underneath 
when you open it up and it's totally open, these can become twisted. And once they become twisted and move inside of the other strap, it becomes impossible to put this thing on. So you have to be so careful because you see, they won't go together. You have to be so careful that you are keeping these straps exactly where they belong. So if somebody just takes the harness off and throws it down, then there's a possibility and people would come into me and say, I can't get this thing on. And sometimes it would get so twisted that I couldn't get it on either. So that was one drawback to this. The other is the really narrowness of these straps. Yes, this is a softer velvet and it's easier on under the belly, but the majority of this is still a hard material. So we have pluses for the Freedom Harness. It does stop the dog from pulling. It is effective. So this is my review on the Freedom Harness. I do like it. I've used it. I'm still using it occasionally, but I find there are drawbacks to this harness as well. So I still don't have a harness that I think is the perfect no pull harness. So do you have a harness that you really like? That you think is the best no pull harness? Well, my next video, I'm going to review another no pull harness. And let's see if you like this harness and think that it will be good for your dog. Here is a playlist, Stop Leash Pulling. Here are many videos teaching you how to train your dog not to pull on a leash. Because remember, it's not the collar or the harness that stops the dog from pulling. It's you working with your dog. It's the training that will stop the pulling. Also, here's Dog Files Nails. If you'd like your dog to learn how to file their own nails using a scratch board. Thank you. Please leave some comments. Your favorite no pull harness. Thanks. Remember, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. And have a great day. From Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.